Good morning! I'm Axel, your personal testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course, so that your experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important to understand that testing will be very dangerous, and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatalities. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Welcome to level zero. Yes! Level zero. This first test should be very simple. You'll figure it out. I believe in you. Yay! I knew you'd be a most subject experience over exhaustion from testing as hard as you just did, so here we have one of many rest areas designed for your health. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. Another test done. I'm sure you're very excited to finish them all. You'll love what we have for you afterwards. You may have already noticed the Ecliptic Industry Short Distance Tunneling Device. It's required to continue on to the next tests. Most subjects may fear the Ecliptic Tunneling Device. However, it is completely safe, as long as you use it safely. I'll get back to you on that. You did it! Tunnels can be really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety guidelines that come with it. I'll read them as we continue on to the rest of the test. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Not really a rule, but you shouldn't worry about falling from high altitudes. The weird things on your legs take up all the shock. Rule 3. Do not strain your arms. The device has a big kickback when you fire, so you don't want to break any bones or deal with the insurance. Rule four, do not touch the barrel of the gun or stick any fingers or any limbs in it. Rule five, do not compare the ecliptic tunneling device with the Aperture Science handheld portal device. They are different, very different. Don't even think about it. 
Rule six. These rules are important. Don't forget them. Rule seven. The device is not waterproof. Contact with water could cause a dangerous malfunction, opening a dimensional hole into a different time. This hasn't been scientifically proven, but it's safe to assume. Rule eight. Only point at what you want to shoot. Shooting humans has never been tested, so don't be the first one. Or cause anyone to be the first one. You will not be held liable in those situations. Rule 9. Keep your finger off the trigger when you don't want to fire. In some cases, subjects inspect the gun, which could be very dangerous if you are looking down into the chamber of the device. Rule 10. Don't think about how the device works. Numerous subjects who have thought about it have... Just don't think about it. Isn't it weird though? Are you the same person coming in as the person coming out? Like, are you being rebuilt, or is there like a duplicate world somewhere, and we just think it's the same world? It's really mind-boggling, huh? Makes you want to think about it. Right! Rule 11! Wait... Uh... Um... Uh... Sorry, just give me a minute. New level! Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Velocity, or speed, is constant between two tunnels. For example, if your pencil happened to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor while your other tunnel was on a wall, it would fly out of it. Objects you may be carrying with the device will also retain their speed along with you. I should probably mention, if you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself in the head from flowing your arms. Brain dead subjects cannot test. We've tried it before.
you completed this chamber without any guidance. According to numerous psychological studies, this indicates that you are one of five out of six humans who have cognitive and analytical skills. I should warn you, as beautiful as the energy projectile may look, do not reach out to touch it. Seriously, it will kill you. Chamber is harder. After all, you're practically flying straight through them.
You've been solving these chambers at a superior rate. That's... a compliment. Anyways, to continue testing, you'll need to trade your telling device with a modified one in the middle of the room. Please, continue. Congratulations! This modified version of the device gives you the ability to place both tunnels. As fun, yet extremely deadly as this may be, please remember our motto. If your life is on the line, it's safety guideline time. That's not an official motto. I just made it up, but you get the idea. love to hear your thoughts on these tests. Maybe you'll want to do the post-testing interview after all this? discourage test subjects from shooting me with a tunnel.
only test subject I've met so far, but you sure are a great one. One, two, level seven.
before you enter this next wait watch out for gun welcome to level eight
You're okay. 74% of test subjects have been unable to... Anyways, if you're hurt, medical equipment is here for you to use. Uh, Band-aids and stuff. Just walk through the door when you're ready. One, two, level nine.
These next two chambers test you on everything you've learned so far. Don't worry, you can do it. 